Welcome back. This is the fifth video. If you are seeing this as your first video, please kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist there titled IGCSE Math Paper 32, May June 2024. There are four videos there. Question 5A. The diagram shows a pair of parallel lines and a line and a straight line. Write down the mathematical name of the type of angle marked 125 degrees. So this is an obtuse angle, so angle greater than 90 degrees, an angle greater than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle, that is the mathematical name. So part uh, Roman figure 2, give the geometrical reason why the value of x equals to 125, okay, so you can see this will form letter z trace it okay so this and this are alternate angles okay so you can just write alternate angles okay so part b the diagram shows three straight lines find the value of y write down the geometrical properties needed to find the value of y so we'll write the geometrical property uh, properties then will now find the value of y here okay so if you look into this so you see that um, you can say this particularly opposite angles okay this place will be uh, 58 uh, degrees so you can say vertically opposite angle you can write that vertically opposite angles okay so they are equal so to get y you must know this okay so another thing is um since you have these two angles so it's easy to get the value of angle y so another thing that will make that possible is a uh, sum of angles in a triangle okay so sum of angles in a triangle okay so alternatively um if you um you can use a uh, exterior angle of a triangle too okay so because um this okay this is an exterior angle okay exterior angle of this triangle so we can get this you can say sum of angles on a straight line you can write that okay so if you use sum of angles on a straight line you get the value of this exterior angle here and this exterior angle okay is equals to sum of this and this okay so that means um, you can also write um exterior um uh, angles on a straight line rather okay that will be the first point then the second point will now be sum of angles in a triangle or you say vertically opposite angles okay like this then you cannot get the sum of these angles okay so let's scroll down a little bit you can now say uh, the sum of these three angles y add 58 add 70 okay that is y add um 58 add 70 equals to 180 degrees so from here you can calculate the um, value of y okay by saying y equals to 180 degrees minus 58 degrees minus 70 degrees so if you, if you input this into your calculator so you should get the value of y to be equals to 52 degrees so that will be the answer here so let's go to part uh, C. You have this the diagram shows a circle center O with the diameter AOB. The line CDE touches the circle at D and angle DOB equals to 74 degrees. Write down the mathematical name of the line CDE, that is tangent. Okay, so work out angle ODB. Okay, so work out angle 
ODB that is O D B. So this is the angle we want to get. Okay, so we can say this is X. Okay, so don't forget that this side and this side are equal, they are radii. So this space will also be X. So we can get the value of X there. So that will be X add X add 74 equals to 180 degrees. So 2x equals to 180 minus 74. So 2x equals to 106. x equals to 106 divided by 2 equals to 53 degrees. So this would be 53 degrees. So that means this place is 53. This place is also 53. Okay, so let's see the next question. Work out angle B, D, E. So give a geometrical reason for your answer. So B, D, E, that will be B, D, E. So that is this angle. Okay, so if you look at angle B, D, E here, yeah? so it will be uh, this angle B, D, E and angle O, D, B, so they are complementary angles, okay, because the whole of this angle that is from here to this place is a right angle, that is the angle between a tangent and um, a radius, okay, so that will be 90 degrees, so they will be complementary, say angle um, B, D, E will be equal to 37 degrees because um o d b okay and angle b d e are complementary complementary angles okay so they are complementary angles so that is angle between um, a tangent and a radius okay at d find the interior angle of a regular 15-sided polygon so for a regular polygon the sides and the angles are equal that is all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal so we know that the uh, sum of exterior angle of um, any polygon add up to 360 degrees okay and since the exterior angles are also equal so we can get one exterior angle to be equal to 360 divided by 15. So this will be equal to uh, 24 degrees. Okay. So the implication is that the uh, one exterior angle is equal to 24 degrees. So we can get one interior angle. So let's draw a diagram here. So let's say we have something like this. Okay, you have something like this. Okay, then we have something like this. Good. Okay. So let's say this is the polygon, for instance. Okay. So the exterior angle, okay, is um 24 uh, degrees. Okay. So this is the interior angle we want to get. So we can say let this be y. So we know that the interior angle and the exterior angle add up to 180 degrees because there are angles on the straight line. So for that reason, so we can say that um, angle y plus 24 um, is equal to 180 degrees. So that y will be equal to 180 minus 24. So y will be equal to 156 degrees. So that means um, the interior angle will be 156 degrees. So this is 156 degrees. Okay. So this is the end of my solution to question 5. So in the next video, I will solve question 6 and that will be the 6th video. Until then, have your fingers crossed.